uh, is spreading and the rate of its spread is increasing. I mean, the death toll has more than doubled here in the last 24 hours. The, the cases of infections is now nearing uh, 8,000. Uh, the government can point to the fact that uh, their measures in terms of controlling people's movements uh, only really started kicking in uh, late on Friday, early Saturday with the beginning of the state of emergency. So they can maybe suggest that uh, they need time for those measures to really have an effect. But there is a sense that this virus is moving really, really fast and the government and the health authorities are really struggling uh, to keep up. Um, it will be interesting to see as, to, as the day develops uh, to see uh, how particularly the police and the authorities enforce uh, the restrictions. I mean, the idea of people staying at home indoors is a real alien concept to, to the people of Madrid, uh, but the weather has turned very, very cold in, in the last few hours, so that might help uh, keep people indoors. And, uh, but as I said, if you look behind me, there's no one around. It really does look like people are heeding instructions and staying indoors and, and maybe even working from home. Up north is where it is really dire and they are lacking in beds as well as uh, in the key equipment that is necessary for intensive care unit purposes, that is respirators as well as masks. Uh, we're hearing stories come from towns in Lombardy like Brescia or as well as Bergamo. Uh, for example, in Bergamo, one doctor described how they are getting seven admissions to the ICU unit daily and they just can't cope. They don't have those kinds of numbers. The, the president of the Lombardy region has said that Rome uh, has a wrong perception of the situation, but the government is saying they're trying to do everything they can to get uh, those bids and the equipment to the people who need it most.